Hello everyone, my name is Danish Buns, and welcome to this episode of A Noob's Review. This is the gaming show where I bring you relatively new or unknown titles and try and provide some background information on the functionality of the game as well as my overall opinion. Today I will be discussing Tiny Troopers, a new iOS slash Android port recently added on Steam. Game Mechanics Taking command of a small detachment of soldiers, you fight your way through endless hordes of terrorists as you try and return peace to a desolate wasteland. Playing through some of the 60 odd missions, your goal is to lead your well equipped team through a multitude of different tasks such as exterminating enemies or rescuing hostages, all while keeping these men alive. As these tiny soldiers complete objectives, they gain military ranks, which provides them with more overall power and durability. However, if one of these soldiers takes a few too many bullets to the brain, they are dead and you are forced to take on a smiling and slightly innocent new recruit with absolutely no rank bonus. Before entering each mission, you can also choose to spend your money on equipping your squad with a variety of perks, including longer bullet range as well as increased armor, which improves their chances of making it through the mission alive. You can also spend some cash on hiring elite forces for a single mission, which provides your squad with an extra equipment bonus as well as that extra trooper. Also, you can choose to purchase a permanent skill increase, which greatly helps your tiny dude stay alive on the battlefield. After you've prepared your squad, you can finally head into the combat zone where you use your mouse to position your soldiers effectively and attack those enemy garrisons. Positives one of the aspects that I enjoyed from this game was its quirkiness. It became hard not to become attached to each of these soldiers, all with their uniquely awesome faces as well as the damn adorable voices that they had when they would scream out commands to one another. I found it incredibly difficult to not say awe when I heard them yell FIRE AT WILL, making this one of the cutest games that has ever had violating the Geneva Convention along with it. Whenever these players die, it leaves you feeling absolutely heart-wrenched, and the player they are always replaced with is another unique soldier that you learn to love and caress as you continue to play the game. Another good aspect about Tiny Troopers is that all the missions feel very unique. With simple games such as this one, it can become onerous very quickly when you are constantly completing the same objectives over and over again. However, while completing standard objectives such as kill the bad guys and destroy the emplacement, there is always something unique to the mission, such as a tank attempting to blow you to pieces or civilians running across the street as you engage in a massive gun battle. This uniqueness adds great amounts of depth to the game and increases the user's overall enjoyment. Negatives one negative aspect of this game was the apparent lack of soldier customization. Though you can upgrade your team with scopes and heavy barrels, this game seemed to lack depth in terms of personalization of your squad. Being able to fight hordes of enemies isn't enough when you can't dress your entire squad in pink uniforms, seriously! The lack of personalization leaves this game feeling devoid of a player's personality, and I feel it would have been a massive improvement if they had included this in this game. Another issue I had with this game was the incredibly annoying keybinds. To move your character, you would be required to click with your left mouse button, yet to fire, you must also press the right mouse button and point to the direction where you want to go for each of those items. This becomes immensely difficult as you try and engage terrorists without running directly at them, requiring the player to wildly swing their mouse all over the screen in an attempt to survive. Tiny Troopers does not take advantage of the massive array of buttons known as a keyboard, which leaves the player thoroughly annoyed as they try and click on opposite sides of the screen at the same time. Mapping the move keys to something more functional like arrow keys would have reduced that factor of annoyance. My final complaint, and probably the worst complaint of all, is that this is a ridiculously expensive iOS slash Android point, with a markup of about a thousand percent. 
The port itself wasn't completed in any way that offered improvements to the system, such as the previously discussed key bindings or an increase in graphical dexterity, which leaves me wondering why anyone would spend this much on a game when you can just go out and purchase it from your iPhone or Android device for a fraction of the cost! The clunkiness of this game, as well as the small graphical glitches which would go unnoticed on a smaller device, is clearly visible throughout my entire playthrough and frustrated me to no end. Unfortunately, this game doesn't seem to be the only case for Steam in terms of ridiculously overpriced games being released on PC. The fact of the matter is, if you're moving from a small handheld device to a PC, you have to be sure that your game meets the same quality standards that your previous version met. This means that your game will be different, as changes must be made to correct for the differences in the platforms. Simply being lazy and releasing the exact same code with several redefinitions for controls as well as desktop resolutions is not worth the price of $10. especially when you can get the game for a tenth of the price on a simple handheld device. It was these factors that eventually led me to disliking the game. Though I can definitely see the appeal from a player's perspective in terms of using a handheld device, this game does not belong on a PC unless it has some major improvements made to it. I'm going to give this game a ranking of 4 out of 10 because I starved for a night to play this and I was thoroughly disappointed. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. My name is Danish Bums. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can also send me an email at camelsilo at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.